All right, everybody. So, welcome back to Jim Bob's Garden. Uh, as you can see, it's a nasty rainy day. So, I haven't made a video in a while. So, I thought I'd do something, and it, it occurred to me because of uh, some conversations I had. You know, if you're going to grow your own food, you can't be a food snob. All right. If I was to go to the grocery store and I saw that tomato, I probably wouldn't buy that tomato, all right? But there is nothing wrong with that tomato. I mean, it's split because it got a little too much water. Um, it, you know, you look at some of these others, they're starting to split. They're not the prettiest, but they're still solid. They're still nice. And they will all eventually turn a nice red color and we'll be able to use them either in sauces or whatever else. Some of these tomatoes fell off when we were moving around the tomato vine. Now I could throw them away, but why? Why not just go ahead and keep them, let them turn red like these. These are tiny tomatoes, but they're still good. There's nothing wrong with those tomatoes. Like that one there, for, in for instance. Hopefully you'll excuse me if I have tomato in my cheese. That was really good, by the way. Um, another good example is this corn. I wasn't sure when to pick it, but you can see that it didn't all grow out. It was still, I guess, in the process of growing. I probably should have let it wait a little longer. But we can still cut the corn off of that and still use that. All right. These garlics I planted um, primarily. These were late plantings, by the way. I planted these. Oh man, my normal garlic I planted in December, early no or late November, early December. But these I planted in the spring, basically to keep it from, uh, or well, to be as a, a bug deterrent. All right, and they're a little odd looking. You see, I always got a little lump up there, but I'm gonna let it dry out a little bit, and they'll be just fine. I mean, that one actually grew quite nicely. All right, nice little garlic. So. Like I said, don't be a food snob. You know, even though it may not look perfect, you cut out the bad pieces, and you know what it'll do? It'll still make a turd. Yes, indeedy. I'm going to tell you, my potatoes, for example. A lot of my potatoes came out very small. You can kind of see they're not the biggest potatoes. Um, and I'll have to work on that and try and figure out what it is that caused that. I think it was just lack of rain lack of water. I probably should have watered more, uh, even though I thought I watered quite a bit. Um, we did not get the rain we needed to. So, but at any rate, those are still completely edible potatoes. All right. This is my pumpkin. You can see this pumpkin is a little bit small, it's got a little bit of roughness on it, but it's actually a Seminole pumpkin and it'll be just fine when it comes to making pumpkin pie. So don't be a food snob. Just because it ain't pretty, don't mean you can't eat it. And the best part about these is all these cost me was one seed. One seed grew all of these tomatoes here. So, um, we'll pause here for just a second while the airplane goes flying by. So you ask yourself, why does this matter? What, what are you trying to tell me? Well, the, the thing is this, okay? If you aren't willing to accept things like this, things that have got maybe a little bit of bug damage, then it's going to make you want to use a lot of different uh, insecticides, and pesticides. It's going to make you want to use a lot of fertilizer and things like that to get that perfect plant, that perfect um, tomato, that perfect um, pumpkin, maybe the corn that grows just a little bit better. All of this is perfectly edible. None of it is perfect in any way, shape, or form. Though I gotta say that some of these are pretty nice looking. I got that, that is a really cool tomato. It's so good too. Ah, a little bit of lightning. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd throw this out there. Don't be a food snob. 
don't be tempted to use a lot of different insecticides and, and fertilizers just to make your fruit a little prettier. Man, I'm telling you, these things taste so good. That tomato I just had was a very tasty tomato. All right. Um, by not using pesticides, we uh, improve the overall diversity of the, the insect populations in our yards. All right. Bugs are not bad. Bugs are just like anything else in ecosystem, in ecology, where you get predator bugs and you get um, 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 herbivorous bugs, basically things that, that are going to eat up your plants. But then you get the predator bugs that eat those. You get the bugs that, that go in the soil and break it down and turn it into, um, you know, real good, hearty, healthy soil. They, they eat, they poop, they die, and, and then become fertilizer in and of themselves. We got to stop doing all this chemical crap, man. We're killing things off, and um, this way is completely natural. I use nothing, absolutely nothing. The only fertilizer I use is compost, and I use nothing whatsoever other than these two fingers. Again, that's how you get you that green thumb, squishing green bugs um, to kill off the bugs, and then other bugs. Hopefully, the bugs will come in. Now, I also use, you know, um, different plants like this garlic. This garlic was not grown for garlic, it was actually grown to suppress bugs. Uh, I use marigolds, I use dill, I use, um, what else, onion, I use uh, nasturtiums. I use a lot of different things like that, lots of flowers to pull in pollinators and also to confuse the, the bad bugs. So don't be a food snob, grow what looks natural, grow um, like it was meant to be. Grow naturally and you'll never have to worry about what you're eating. I can eat any of this and all of this straight out of the garden. Just rub the dust off, and pop it in your mouth, and it's good to go. Alright, so that's my take on things. Do what you want. It's your garden. It's your rules. Um, but this is what I do. This is how I grow my veggies. So um, if you like what I'm doing, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, and let me know what you think. And above all, grow something. Grow something that isn't perfect. Alright? They still taste really, really good. Alright, thanks for stopping by.